Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with poor puppet, Mr. Jazz Hands himself, Mr. Chicken. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about the walking contradiction of a narcissistic individual um, or cluster B. <clears throat> um, a lot of um, what happens inside of us is very confusing, not just for you, but for us too. We do things automatically and we're not <laughs> realizing um, what is happening. And of course, you know, we blame the outside world for not getting it and not understanding us and not mind reading us, you know, um, it's, it's crazy town. So I'm going to give you some examples of um, these contradictions. I know that you guys want to figure out your people and it's very hard to really understand, um, you know, okay, they're doing this one thing. Do they mean this? Do they mean the opposite? Are they really, you know, angry? Do they need a hug? Do they, do they, do they, you know, I get it. So one <clears throat> contradictory uh, dilemma um, is with my channel. So I get into a relationship with this a new person and they're watching all of my um, past garbage that I'm talking about struggles and everything that are going on on the inside. And I'm trying to be different, but he is watching all of my old shit. So he doesn't know what to believe. He is feeling gaslit because it's like, who the fuck are you? Are you this or are you that? Wait. You still display the wrong thinking in this. So does that mean that you're all this? Can I even believe what you're saying about that? And here I am trying to, you know, tell my person and myself, no, I'm this, I'm not that. Even though that I was making, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, mistakes and everything, I understand now how damaging that was to my relationship. Now there's some people out there that are also um, making like victim channel content. And you are reliving that story of the past. You want to be in the present. You want to create a better future. Some one lady, she was um, in a new relationship. She's saying, oh yeah, everything's great and whatever, but you know, demon, 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 demon. And she's, her body and mind is still living in the past. And I was in the past thinking all of these, you know, talking shit, shaming the shit out of myself, you know, here. And that's important for me to move forward, but I wasn't moving forward. And me telling my person, I have no emotional connection to my old people. I do not. There is no, I do not want to go back to those people. I was trying to reassure him that this is a teaching tool, blah, blah, blah. And I did not see what it would be doing to him. Because at that time, I was not putting myself in his shoes. Yes, I'm doing that empathy thing. So some cluster B individuals that are aware and honest enough we believe that uh, we're all bad. The core of our disorder is shame-based and trying to hide that 
not only from ourselves, but the rest of the world. So we're trying to be perfect. We're trying not to make any mistakes. We are masking up. And we want the outside world to tell us that we're good. This is the contradiction. You think that, you know, our egos are so fucking huge and we're just so, 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 when it's actually the opposite. We need someone else to fight with because we don't see our projections that are happening on the inside. Our, we're projecting out any anger or whatever that we have that has nothing to do with you, but we need to find a threat to remove all of these ugly feelings. So now you're thinking, your disordered thinker is um, being hateful, controlling, manipulative, evil, evil, evil. They like, they like seeing me cry. They like seeing me in pain. They hate seeing me cry. <laughs> you know? And it's like, it's got nothing to do with you. Makes you crazy. Scrambled eggs all up in that bitch for you because we're projecting our scrambled eggs onto you. So, yes, we're gonna make you believe that you're the bad person, especially if you're telling us that we're bad and you're pointing a finger. What are you doing for me? What are you doing for me? You're this, you're that, you're blah, blah, original caregiver fucking all up in our ears all the time. Gotta remove the threat. Push, 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 right? So we believe in our mask. This, we've been doing it since we were kids. We don't know who we are. And if you don't believe it too, you are the ab abusive asshole. Now you keep saying, um, I know who you are, I know who you are. We don't fucking know that we're masking up all the time. Um, when we become more aware, we know that, okay, I got to be fake. I got oh, so much anxiety and everything. So yes, I got to mask up. I got to pretend. I got to pretend. I got to pretend. And you're here saying, I see, I see behind the mask. I see, you know, like if we're this um, evil thing. And we're really just these broken little children. You also have to remember that we're fighting against ourselves. This um, chess match that we're having against us alone has nothing to do with you. You are just a chess piece that we're moving around to keep ourselves safe. Again, this is messing with you too. You're, you're like you know, thinking all those, um, you're controlling, you're fucking, you're isolating, you're, 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 you know, you're projecting your fucking anger out on me, you're, you're a dick. <laughs> then we will push you away. Now, cluster B people, we want love. We don't know what real love is. I had to buy a fucking book. I had to buy a book on what is real love. I had to look up how do I love myself because I don't know. I do not know. And when we're in the beginning of a relationship with you, we do want that love connection. We are pouring everything of us inside of you to get a good reflection from you because we we're not able to give that to ourselves. So, we smear you too. Okay, so, of course, um, when we're smearing the shit out of you, um, our brains are like, this, this, this mother sucker is um, nothing good about them, nothing. Now, you know that that's not true. 
you know that you're not all bad. Some of you, you know, do think in the gray area. There is good and bad about everyone. But a light switch goes off and we don't remember anything good about you. So we're smearing the shit out of you. You're thinking, you know, we're this evil fucking thing. They never, they never loved me. They never cared about me. They never. Now that's black and white thinking on you too. They never, they never. They would treat me better if they, okay, well, it's not called a mental illness for nothing. It's not an asshole disorder. This isn't an excuse. This is facts. And so <clears throat> you need to um, be very aware of the way this disorder fucks with us, even if you're not with your person anymore. Just so you know that, you know, we are a walking contradiction. And this will help you also not um, go crazy, <laughs> go crazy. You don't know how many times I'm like, you're not crazy, you're not crazy, don't worry about it. We will use anger and verbal violence to keep you away and make you believe that you're the problem because we don't um, self-reflect. There's no mindfulness going on. Being in the present moment, we're always living in the past or the future. Okay, depression, anxiety, yay. Sometimes we'll self-isolate um, and then you're like, why aren't you, you know, the person that you used to be? Well, you do know that fucking humans fluctuate. They're not always going to be this wonderful, you know, person who is just, um, dumping all kinds of love and light into you like we were in the beginning of the relationship, that's your downfall. Thinking that, you know, oh, oh, my people are always going to be fucking happy and, and showering me with love and affection and blah, blah, blah. I know you like to think that we're demons, but we are human. And we do have a lot of struggles. And we do need to find our own way out of them. You can't fix that. You can only fix you. You can only learn to react different. Getting off topic here. But um, when we split and we're protecting ourselves from our own rejection, fear, anxiety, being, being told that we're broken all the time, we will push you away, leave, say the most terrible things about you just so you will hate us and leave for good. Just get the fuck away from me. We prophesize rejection. So we reject you first. And we sabotage the relationship because of that fear. And one thing, <sighs> one thing that um, I had so much fear um, when I was trying so hard to. Um, get my person to believe in me. I wanted to believe in us. I was so scared for him to reject me. I mean, the anxiety was um, through the fucking roof that I pushed myself away from him and pushed him away from me to relieve that anxiety and to give him and myself an easy out. And um, even though I wanted to hold on to that relationship so bad, 
I couldn't deal with being rejected by somebody that I love. So I fucking let, let him go and I justified it. Now, victim channels are um, mind reading. You do not know what is going on in our head. The only person that does know and that I trust is Heal MPD and um, Dr. Ruth Ann Harper. I do not trust or have found any other um, psychotherapist that actually understands what originated how this came about and why we do the things that we do. And this is fucking with you because Dr. Ramen Noodles, she does not help when she's talking about a narcissist's eyebrows. When she says that we hate pets. Now pets can be annoying, but pets are the only ones that, you know, dogs love us unconditionally. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that there's um, abusive people out there, but also you have to understand that the disorder has nothing to do with physical abuse, okay? So when you come here and you start saying, they're stalking, they're ruining my life, they're there, da, da, da. that's got nothing to do with the disorder. That's extra shit, man. So um, fuck your label. All right. Um, I try to tell you why. We do these things, um, but you are also living in your own gaslit reality. With all these contradictions out there, all these different channels out there, all these, um, fuck, it, it's, it's fucking, it's exhausting for me. I mean, who, who do you believe? The perception of the perpetual victim that takes no responsibility at all for their own disordered thinking? Or are you going to believe the disordered person that's actually telling you what the fuck's going on in our head? Hmm? Who? This is fucking with you. You have to decide. Some of you guys fucking um, will watch me. And I will see that you're still watching ramen noodles. You're still watching all these victim channels. You're still being plagued with um, black and white thinking. What am I, what, wh uh, who, who do I believe? Who? You are doing this to you, yourself. I say quit watching victim channels and go fucking watch some mindfulness shit. <laughs> Go learn about um, uh, cognitive therapy for yourself. So when you start to ruminate, when you start having wrong thinking, you will be able to reality test yourself. Is this real? Because when I talk to people on the phone, I can, I, they're telling this story, the story over and over and over again. They're telling me what they're, narcissistic person is thinking. And sometimes I'll be like, don't tell me how I think. Why are you calling me if you have all the fucking answers? You don't know. That's why you're here, right? Right. So, <clears throat> I have been um, putting myself in my past people's shoes. I've never um, done this before. 
And I know it's crazy, but um, number one, I couldn't do it. My brain wouldn't allow myself to do it. Um, it's probably shame protection. My brain's like, no, you don't want to fucking touch that shit. No, you don't want to feel fucking bad about yourself. And I was just, you know, started to um, go over, instead of going over me being justified in all of the things that I do and think about my past people, I started looking at, at it from their point of view. Okay, what if, you know, I was him and he was me? What, how would I feel? Now, in the past, I would go and make videos and everything and like shaming the shit out of him covertly, um, saying that I'm talking about myself. And you know what? I, I am talking about myself. I just didn't see it. I'm doing these things. You know, I'm seeing it as I'm the victim. I'm the victim. And I didn't see that, you know, well, what if he sees himself as the victim of me? What if I am doing these things to him? This was a huge, huge revelation that it was like um, looking behind the veil, you know, like, holy shit, I am fucking abusive. Me, me, the, the perfect, the perfect partner. The one that justifies everything. Even, even if I don't, you know, mean to do these things, I'm still doing them. And that was huge. And it was, um, such a, uh, uh, fucking growth spurt that happened. So if there are any, um, fuck both of us, you know, um, disordered thinkers and, um, normies try to put yourself with everything that you learned, try to put yourself in our shoes and we need to do that for you too. We do have to sit in our pain, in our shame, in our fear, and realize these things. You know, I, I still, you know, have automatic responses. Um, I'm curbing, like, don't get angry and everything. But, you know, I still am scared to death of being rejected. And I got to work on that too. It, it, it's okay. It's okay um, uh, for people to make up their own minds, you know, about me. It's, it's fine. It's okay that, you know, t my partner is like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to fucking deal with that shit no more. You know, and I have to be okay with that, you know? I can't look at myself as I'm all bad. I'm all bad. You know, he doesn't love me, uh, you know, and all this shit or whatever. It's like, I have to um, forgive myself. I have to forgive myself for my own mistakes. He doesn't have to forgive me for the things that I've done. He can live with that. I'm not going to live with it. I'm not going to live with um, hating myself. And, um, and he knows, he knows how bad. So if any of you assholes are coming here saying, it's a Hoover, it's a Hoover, it's not. He knows everything. And I'm not telling you um, every fucking detail. He knows. That's our private thing. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.